Hang on one second, you guys. So tonight is viewer appreciation night. It's my way of saying thank you to all the viewers and all you, and all you guys who show up here every night to watch the show. And as a way of saying thank you, it's going to be pretty much a call-in show. You guys can come on whenever you want to, say what's up, talk with us, and have a good time. And because he's such a good viewer and he's always there at my shows, I'm also going to bring on Andrew Casali. How's it going, Andrew? What up? Okay, so we will see him in a minute. But before we do any of that, run that intro. <laughs> Andrew, you were saying, I'm so sorry. Don't cut me off, man. <laughs> I said, hello, all my YouTube viewers. How are you all doing tonight? Everyone's doing good, apparently. Let's see who's here tonight, shall we? We got Anthony Draven in the chat. What's up? What's, his, what's up, Nicotina? We got Sickness in the house. There he is. Bam. Bam. We got Gavin Cooley in the chat. What's up, Gavin? We got McLovin. We we're all here. Let's go. Phobic. I know. Where is Phobic these days? <laughs> we got Batdan. If uh, the only Dawson. way to get Ben Affleck <laughs> versus Deathstroke project was to sacrifice Dawson to the Starlight Pit, would you do it? Fuck yeah, I would do it. I'm like, you're out of here, Dawson. <laughs> if they, if that was my options. If they said, oh, yeah, that's the only way I'd see it, well, I'd be like, well, Dawson, I'm sorry. <laughs> But it is <laughs> over and you have lost. Uh, let's see who else is here. We got El Cape de Siam. What's up? Jesse Allen is here as well. Naman, what's going on, buddy? Uh, let's see. Just finished up emailing the entire Suicide Squad and Justice League cat. Wow. You got Kevin and Affleck? Nice. Emailing them. I don't know how you got their emails, uh, unless it's made public. I'm not sure. Or unless um, that's a, or that's a BDS joke. <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, that's cool. Big Lovin's here as well. So guys, okay. So horrible news struck just recently. Oh. Actually. Exactly. And, uh, you know, it just, we knew things were changing. We knew that something was going to go down when we knew that Regal Cinemas or Regal Theaters was closing down. Uh, yeah. and, and, they, and they were showing their doors for the foreseeable future. So we knew something was happening then. But then another domino fell. And that was a pretty big domino to fall. Another yes. big one fell, which was the domino that was Dune being moved to October. And not just October, but October of 2021 instead of its December release. Now we know that James Bond, that movie hasn't moved to april of next year yep. but now we have dune being pushed to october now andrew do you know what other movie is coming out on the same month of october i vengeance that's right he he is right the batman is being moved to 2022 <laughs> i i know or two i know it's it's really bad and i don't know what how could you do, do this to batman us. not cool not cool. Oh hell no! It's done. It's gone. Oh, it's just like I, I swear to God, I was trying to put my kids to sleep, and when I saw the article that it had been moved, I was like, "There, hey, bro." What? Oh my God! <laughs> yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty me, terrible. It's pretty when terrible. I, saw it, I was um. The way the mass drops his jaw going. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, exactly. When the mask dropped his jaw, like, I was like, oh my God. So not only are we not going to get the two Batman that we thought we we're going to get next year, but now we're not going to get it until 2022. But as Andrew had informed me, and as Dave the Film Junkie said himself, we will be getting three Batman in 2022 because we're, we're going to be getting what, Andrew? We're going to get Robert Pattinson, and for the Flash movie, Michael Keaton, and Ben Affleck. Exactly. So there is a good side, and there is also a bad side. And Anthony Draven, this one is always oh. and forever <laughs> for you. Hell no. 
And that's that's that, that was me and that was my internal voice when, when I found out all these things were happening. It was just straight Hell up. Hell no. And uh, there's nothing we can do about it. Absolutely nothing we can do about it. Yeah. Uh, Jesse, yes, I am on earlier today because I am currently on vacation. I'm I have a few weeks off, so I'm taking advantage of it. And uh, mm -hmm. what better way than to have the show earlier, just so all my viewers can watch it wow. at a earlier time. And what's funny is that most of the viewers that are normally there at 12 a.m. Pacific, 2 a.m. Eastern, they're here now. <laughs> so this is great. We got Rishnan here in the chat. What's going on, buddy? Oh, you will yeah. get the greatest Batman in 2021. Oh, yeah. He's of not wrong. Will. He's not wrong. He's not wrong one bit. Uh, not sad about the Batman at all. I'm all for Batfleck 2021. So now, here's the thing now. Guys, everyone in the chat. We got oh, Enosh knows. here in the chat as well. <laughs> so, like I said, guys, this is Viewer Appreciation Day. And uh, let's well, see here. <laughs> here we go. Are oh, you putting the link in? All right. I'm putting the link in the chat. So right, we're, we're, we're going to join the party, everyone. Join the party. We're going to open this up to everyone. anyone who wants to come in. And I do want to say this. I do want to say this. Okay, Enosh, God, you got to go away. There we go. Our two guests in on my show tonight. Oh, yes, you. Yeah, oh, you had to do it. You had to do it. Yeah, he was Nothing holding them like this. Oh, uh, yes. Yeah, he has to hold them. Like <laughs> yeah, but that's cool, though. I like it. What's up, Katsuka? What's cracking like in? Well, you know, just everything being sent to next year and the year after. That's what's yeah. happening right now. The Nicotina Show fail 12 a.m. Pacific time, 3 p.m. Oh, it's whatever. Because we all know that the real time on Earth is Pacific time. That's the, that's the one that counts. Um, oh. We got Jovan. Enosh! <laughs> uh, he was tricked about, about <laughs> He was tricked about nonsense. <laughs> Are you are you excited? Did you know? Did you know about it already? Yeah, I know. Yeah, hold on. I know. Next year, it fucking sucks. But you know what we're gonna do? Um, I'm hearing um, the chat that um, as long as we get the Snyder Cut, we're good. Of course, we're gonna be good. What's up, Bat Dan? Oh, how are you? Good. So your new Dan. job. You're working late in the night. Is that is that correct? Yes, I start on Friday. It's uh, an Amazon third shift delivery job from one twenty to eleven twenty, Friday through Monday. So, that's cool. So yeah, that'll be interesting. And Ooh, I see a Dark Knight poster. Oh yep. Twice. Oh yeah, there it is. Twice. <laughs> it's like a mirror. <laughs> <laughs> And then, uh, uh, so I, I put the chat in the, uh, yeah, uh, I, the chat, put the link the in the chat. So Enosh or anybody who wants to jump on in, go right ahead. This is viewer ap appreciation day. So you guys are more than happy to come on in. And we have another guest coming on. Other than Rushnan. What's going on, man? What's up, man? What's going on? <laughs> it's going great, actually. Well, that's good. So the Batman has been pushed off. It, it will no longer yeah, be at a yeah. regularly scheduled time. And now we're we still have Zack Snyder's Justice League, which is great. What's up, Dawson? Um so you know, it's just it's really it, it sucks. The pandemic has taken a, a toll on all of us and has changed so many things. And it's not just in, in the area that I live in or in the US, it's globally, it has it has rocked everything. And that is it's just been, yeah, yeah it just sucks. A lot of things. Basically, I had to move from a, another city to, to another city because I was like uh, in university. So I was staying in Rashahi. From there, I had to move to my parents because of the pandemic. Because uh, my university is closed. So, yeah. So, wow. I'm sorry about that. Uh, no, it's okay, but like it's the normal, new normal. Uh, <laughs> what's up, Kevin? Kevin O'Dog hair. <laughs> we got Niner for Life. What's up, Nick? Niner for Life, dude. What's up with that game yesterday, man? The Niners sucked. Nick <laughs> Mullins was throwing interceptions. Oh, it was terrible. You want to talk about suck? <laughs> but um, let's see. And then uh Nerdy Many Ways. Yeah, he is here. So here's the thing though. At the end of the day, we still have Zack Snyder Justice League coming out. And, and nothing's going to stop that because it's on HBO Max. And, and I know that they're working on getting that internationally. But once they do, it's going to be really cool. 
Yeah, um, definitely. yeah I know. Definitely. So that's the one saving grace is that they can't stop that. That's coming regardless. And so that I am very excited for. Um, oh, hey, guys. Oh, got the chairs. Uh, yeah, he had it on earlier, too. Oh. So, guys, so, guys, let's go around really quick. I want to ask you guys, and we'll, and we'll start with uh, Rashdan. What yeah. are you most excited to see from uh, Zack Snyder's Justice League? Uh, first of all, definitely Batflick. Then, uh, then again, I'd say Martian Manhunter. Mm-hmm. Then Green Lanterns. These are the things I'm mostly excited about. But there's and so much. There's so much. Like then I just remember Dark Side would be there. Dishard would be there. So like there's a lot of things like a like, lot of like it's like a chocolate box. You you don't know what you'll get. <laughs> yeah, you don't know what you're gonna get. <laughs> Forrest Gump. <laughs> Forrest Gump. That was really good. Um, Bat Dan, what about you? I was. Bat- I can't. Actually, acting like Bat Fleck, not being. Yes. Like- yes. And then, man. So you're breaking up a little bit. I don't know what it is. Superman having a realistic face. Yes, definitely, yes. definitely, definitely. You definitely. look like this. I mean, oh. I'll miss some certain lines. Like, I'll miss the hope is like your car keys lines. I'll miss Batman oh, smoothly bleeding. So Gavin Cooley's trying to join us, but he's not ready yet. I don't think I don't even know if I can hear him yet. So we're gonna have to remove him until he's ready. But we have another celebrity that is gonna join us. Someone that I did not expect to show up. Is none other than the wonderful, the beautiful Gal Gadot is here. Oh my goodness, Wonder Woman. <laughs> Wonder Woman is here. Wonder, Wonder Woman, if you can hear us, <laughs> what brings Bring you to the Nicotina show? Bring us your sequel. Kalel, no. Kalel, no. Okay. How's that? Okay. Like? Is he clean shaven? <laughs> All right, well. Gal, when you get yourself ready, you uh, let me know. Oh, okay. is my camera working? You're is that Juicy? <laughs> Who is this? Dude, it's cut. Dude, my microphone's cutting out. I think this is Jesse Allen, isn't it? The one that said, uh, "Look fire." <laughs> well, uh, at least your your <laughs> looks great. <laughs> no, it's gounded up. Uh-huh. Why you sound like a dude? <laughs> That's so- me. Oh, no. <laughs> Guys, this is Jesse Allen that we're talking to right now. This is nobody else but him. Uh, he's the one who runs the uh, Cut Air account. Oh, wow. <laughs> so, Jesse, you were able to get quite a few uh, people to uh, do their video questions for uh, David Ayer. Is that right? Hello? <laughs> Technical difficulties. I know. It's, it's a rough night. Gavin, are you there? Oh, same. It's the same. All right, we'll come back to <laughs> yeah, them. Yeah, sounds like you sick. Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll come back to them uh, once it gets squared away. And if, and if you are, if you guys are ready to go, leave your uh, comment in the private chat. Just let me know you're ready, and I'll bring you back on. But okay, so we're gonna kind of do, do like a rocket round here. So, so we talked about Batman being moved to 2022, right? Yes. We talked about Dune being pushed off to October of uh next year so we knew that was happening already now the other question is is this the end of the theaters is this the end Uh, of the movie theaters as we know it because the way i see the way i see things is that what's going to happen is is that it's going to be all about the big blockbusters being what's in the theaters and nothing else so you know like obviously like like new mutants and tenant would have still been the theaters but you wouldn't have saw all the other movies that were like, you know, any drama movies, any, uh, you know, comedies, that stuff, gone. And kids' movies, because kids' movies sell at the theaters. They really do. Yeah, no kidding. Look at Disney. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, but but I think that we've seen the end of a lot of films going straight to the theater. I think it's going to go straight to streaming. And, and I think streaming is going to be the new platform in which movies are experienced. Oh, you're kidding. Uh, no, I'm serious, but <clears throat> all the big budget films are going to have a theater presence before they come on the streaming because that's people will pay money to go see that. I'll go pay money to see it in a theater. Why not? Gavin, are you there? <laughs> Gavin, are you there? I will find him when you're ready. Okay, so 
Let's see who else is here. <laughs> I miss I Kelsey. Miss Kelsey Don't we all? Difficult for normal. Yeah, Jesse doesn't have the best setup when it comes to streaming. What's up, Joker? What's up, Nicotina? Um, theaters can't survive on just big yeah. movies, but I don't know because I mean, look, when you when you get rid of all their overhead, you get rid of having you know all these employees working eight hour shifts. You know, you know how many days a week. If you were to limit your availability on when your theater is open and make it just a weekend thing or an evening weekend thing, then you can kind of gear it towards a certain crowd. And maybe that's what they're going to do. Or, and on top of that, what else have we seen theaters do in the past 10 years, even five years? Is Whoa. that we, we, well, the thing is, is that we've seen theaters start to cater more towards the lifestyle of being able to to drink beer, uh, eat food, you know, have restaurants inside the movie theater. So now it's becoming more of, of a a bigger experience as opposed to just you show up and you go see a movie. Now it's like, hey, if you're going to pay this much money, let's go do more stuff than just see the movie. Yeah, but um, I get it. But like when it comes to like the, the superhero films, like the new ones coming out, I want to see them. In all its glory. On the Which screen. one? Which one? Oh, I don't know. The, the Flash or Batman. Well, yeah, that will be on. I'm saying those will still be there. But the other films, you know, once they have huge followings, like, you know, all the, um, you know, Christopher Nolan movies, you know, any movie yeah. that, that that's a big production will, will definitely be in a theater. But I don't yeah, think that some of the other movies are, are going to make it now. Yeah, because Tenet and Mulan was the straw that broke the camel's back. Yeah, M Milan was a disaster. But uh, and so Kevin says, I love going to theater. It gives me an excuse to eat hella popcorn. <laughs> I, I do the same thing. And Kevin, when I go to the theater, I stuff my face full of popcorn. It, it gives me gas, but I love it. It's, it's the popcorn one time where gas? it gives me gas. I don't know why. It's the one thing that I get to do at the theater that I love the most is, is eat popcorn and drink soda. Then I leave there feeling like 100 pounds. But still, it's a lot of fun, and I miss it. I miss it greatly. Um, Enosh says, uh, most big movies make the big money for themselves. They have a huge front-end deals. Well, look, Enosh, all I'm saying is that things are going to change. I just can't see yeah, theaters, theaters sticking around for that long. Um, because, you know, I, I, I used to work at a movie theater for a lot of years. And let me say, during the day, there's nobody there. And so and now if it becomes an everyday occurrence where even during the uh, the primetime hours between 6 and 9 p.m., if it's still dead, there's no future for a movie theater at all. Unless yeah, it becomes exactly. like a destination for these super high budget films that people are, are, are dying to see. And, but that's just my take on it. Batman, what do you think? I think they need to sell hazard suits. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, that drastic? Have built-in bathrooms so that you don't have to get up your seat. You have to use a bathroom. You know, you just put one little straw that you can dump your beer and popcorn, in, and then have a built-in toilet in there so you can do your. Oh, dude! And then, <laughs> but but on a serious note, yeah, I mean, I don't think it's going to change as much. But let me, let me explain why, though. I don't think. I mean, the big blockbusters were the big money makers for theaters. Like me personally, I didn't really. The end. I rare. I mostly went to just see big blockbusters, anyways. So I feel like pandemic or not, that that was inevitable because streaming was a big thing. I mean, honestly, even before the pandemic, I feel like streaming was kind of starting to take over the movie theater. Yeah. Even before uh, the pandemic? Yeah, I mean. Yeah, I mean, everyone, like, I would prefer to see most of these films at home. I, I mean, I, I have a huge 65-inch LED. I have surround sound. So Lucky. see. So seeing it is not like, you know, not being able to see the theater is not the worst thing in the world. However, most of these films I do want to see in the theater, but some of them that aren't like, you know, huge movies, you know, I, I could care less seeing a theater. I, I, I don't want to pay that much money to go see it anyway, like, but you never know. Like I'm in Chicago. It's cold. Like even when we get to winter, you think I, what would I rather do? Sit in my nice warm apartment or go out and drive in the cold? Oh, oh. All right, Gavin, are you ready? Hello, can you guys hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Sweet. So Gavin. I'm sick right now. Oh, 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 wait, you're sick? You have COVID? 
No, it's okay. You don't you have to answer that. But uh, Gavin, the world is changing, and the world is is rapidly moving into a new direction. Gavin, do you think that movie theaters are a dying industry? Not again. Who's that? Is that him or is that somebody else? All the background noise. Is, it, is that is that Rashan? Because I know Dave, Bat Dance by himself. <laughs> I don't know myself. So I mean, well, let's see what Gavin. When you're ready, Gavin, come on back in. Okay, so uh, this will not be the end of theaters. It will adapt. Theaters will turn their venues into a experience and bring more to bring really? more to consumers. And that's exactly what I was talking about. They have to now. They're going to have to change their whole approach. They have to make it more appealing to come to the theater now, because I mean, it it, it, it it's going to have a toll on, on their industry. I'm telling you. What's up, sickness? Um, theaters will adapt like drive-ins did back in the 1990s. Oh yeah, yeah. Actually, you know, one time I went back. I tried to see the first Rocky movie. Still enjoyed it. Did you? Yeah. My 65 inch TV is not the same as the theater. I love the theater. I'll drive out in the cold to see a movie. No, I mean I will too. But what I'm saying is that I don't think that most Americans. At least from, from my standpoint, I don't know about the rest of the world, but I don't think most people in America are, are going to want to go to the theater after this is over. I I, well, I know yeah. I do. A lot of us do. But I don't know if people want to take that risk. I mean, I mean, we're talking about, you know, we, we all talk about movies all the time. So, like, we want to see movies. But for other people, they don't they don't care. Like my brother, I asked him. He's like, he's like, I'm not going to movie theater. I'm not going there for fucking forever. I, uh, who knows when I'm going to go back to those again? That's a cesspool for COVID. You know, people just oh, don't wow. want to take that chance. So, and Kevin writes, it's a shame. AMC spent all the money on A-list program, new food menu, and all the refurbishments in their theaters. I'll keep going to the theater as long as they stay open. Well, and hopefully they will stay open because I mean, they haven't announced that they're going to close yet as far as I know. Just uh, uh, the Regal theaters are shutting down. But that's a worldwide yeah. chain. Yeah, it's a, it's a big one. That's a major big one, major big. That's 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 how you pronounce that. Um, I'm fine with watching at home, but I would love to go to the drive-in. And all of a sudden, now you're seeing a huge revival in the drive-in theaters. Everyone's talking about how they want to go to a drive-in, or they've been going to a drive-in. Um, and that's really cool. I, I think it's a great experience um, because that was an experience that kind of died for a while, and now it's all of a sudden to come back because it's it's the only option people have. So we'll see what happens, guys. Who knows? Now, time will tell. Time will tell, exactly. Now, am I sad that I won't be able to see the Batman next year? Yeah, it sucks. But you know what? I mean, I, I had to wait this long for Zack Snyder's Justice League. You know, I can wait a little bit longer for that. But that's what I'm saying, yeah. guys. That Justice League is not going anywhere. Justice League is going to come out when it's supposed to come out. Nothing's going to yes. stop that unless, like, the whole world, like, you know, explodes. But it's going to happen. It's oh, going to... Go ahead. I just thought of something that came to my mind. So we all suspect that Batflex is going to have a solo project coming out on HBO Max. So with the Batman getting delayed, what if they try to get that one out before Robert Pattinson's Batman project? Oh. You're not wrong I, on that. I mean, you never know, but I doubt it. Because, I mean, they can't just film that and then put it out there. I mean, that would take a lot of work. Um, production wise, but if they did it, that'd be awesome. I'd be hella happy to see that. I'll tell you that. But, um, I mean, who knows? I, I think it's yeah, a cool I mean, idea, though. Yeah, give us the Batman that everyone loves right now before give us the newbie. El Capi writes My lack of uh desirability to go watch movies in the theaters is not because of the pandemic, it's because WB and how they fucked, oh, effed <laughs> up Zack Snyder's DC universe. He's not wrong, he's not wrong. Sigma says. What was that about that? I am movies not owned by WB. Heck, I've gone to see. Look at that, Rashton. Your background noise is overriding Bat Dan's dialogue. Oh, it is. <laughs> I like muted him for a second, and then Bat Dan was like, "Yeah." So I want to. I was like, "Oh shoot," because it thinks you're oh. talking. Um. But uh, Sigma says exactly, Nicotina. A lot of people don't feel safe. My neighbor just died from COVID oh, yesterday. That's terrible, man. Terrible. 
Uh, when do you think the air cut is releasing? I don't know. Who the hell knows anymore? Now, look, do I think it's going to come out next year? I think there's a great chance it's going to come out next year. I think it's already been, it's already being worked on. Now, do I think it's going to come out before Justice League? No, it's not. I, I don't think it's going to come out until after Justice League. Um, because that's going to be the movie that they want to see. You know what what happens when, when we do an experiment like this, where we give him the opportunity to make his movie and we give the fans what they want. How do they respond? And they're going to watch. They're going to see this, this explosion of, of subscribers and people freaking out. And then, and then they're going to go, "Okay, let's go." You know, push forward. We're still going to do this. Um, but I want to see it. I really, really, really want to see the air cut. Really bad. Some more of that. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. <laughs> And as McLevin says, hit that like button, you guys. Uh, hit the like hit. button. And if you haven't done so yet, subscribe to my channel. Um, I try and put out content almost every day, every night. Uh, so I appreciate you guys being here and tuning in. Uh, Jesse says, when do you think the air cut is really? Oh, now he's talking Andrew. to me? Andrew. Okay, Andrew. Okay, hold on. Uh, everybody back out. Me? Everybody back out. Okay, go ahead. Go. Uh, um, honestly, who knows? I mean, we're getting Zach Schneider just to get so little. Maybe the same year, but... I'm mean, I'm all for seeing it, but not for more of uh, Jared Leto's Joker. Because you don't like Jared Leto's Joker, do you? Well, he wasn't like like guy. Uh, he, he's like ah, but he was he was bad. Well, you haven't seen the real performance. That's part of the reason. Here, yeah, <laughs> I think we already got more scenes of him when he had like a extended version a month after the theatrical came out. But that was still a butchered version. Yeah, well, I'm more of a Jack Nicholson Joker guy. Yeah, he wasn't that great of a Joker. <gasps> he, uh, he, he was pretty good, but uh, yeah, I, I like with the devil by the panel of light. I like Jerry Lill's Joker, and I and I think that he needs to be given the opportunity to to see his full performance as, in that character, and not just clips of what he did. Because I mean, honestly, a lot of the shit that we saw, it was all chopped up, and just like there were like segments of scenes that he did, and. Uh, and what is this? El Cabby writes HBO Max should take advantage of these uh, film delays and release the air cut and restore the Snyderverse. Exactly. And I think that's what they're doing is that they're they're going to restore all of that as best they can. At least it's, it's what it looks like. Um, when I was asking when, to Sean? Oh, my God. Jess, okay. Do you want to answer that question? <laughs> Wait, Deshaun? I thought I was rushed on. Oh, well. He's uh, like, oh, whoops. <laughs> yeah, well, he's pretty, oh, Look, Jesse, we don't know when it's coming. You can stop asking. Well, I don't know. Rashad, uh, do you know when? Okay. Uh, I think after the uh, Justice League, because the Justice League would be the uh, crown jewel, because it will, like, if it is, like, successful, then, then the next things will be, like, easy to come because like uh i don't think they will try to risk it like first of all justice league has to be successful and it will be definitely and after that we we can get uh air cut and i think we will get air cut that's my uh observation now jesse's asking that then oh yes good i was gonna oh my it. god he's going around the horn here <laughs> okay i know the answer to this put blow me up august 18th 2021 why? Because I say so. August That's 18th. it. There it is. There it is. August 18th, 2021. It will be because I say so. Okay. <laughs> now, said. Matt, you know, his light cast is here right now. And, and, and I get what you're saying about how, you know, uh, theaters won't go away. Uh, the experience is, is, is a human culture experience that goes back to the birth of man. I, and I understand all that. But. People are Times are changing, Matt. Well, the thing is, is that humans are human beings are becoming more and more recluse, and they're becoming more and more afraid of each other. And and given the opportunity to do this, you know, watch these movies and do entertain themselves in the safety of their own home, is becoming something that people are starting to take advantage of, and and, and they want now. And for some of us, no, it's not the case. But I think for a lot of people out there, that's where they're going. Um, so do I agree with you, Matt? Yes, I, I, I agree with that analogy, but I still think that people are going to have a hard time sitting in a, in a 
room with other people. It's one thing that they're eating. I don't know why, because I guess when food's involved, no one cares. But if they're going to be sitting there watching a movie, imagine if, if you're in there and someone starts coughing. People are going to freak out. So it's, it, yeah. I just oh, think no. people, oh, well, that's the thing. People are, are, are going to get really uh, paranoid about uh, who's around them and where they are. Uh, mask or no mask and you know that's just my take yeah, on it you know you, you know th th that's just kind of how i feel about the whole thing yeah um, I mean, like two things one it's like it's like it's like pandemonium dogs and cats living together mass is terrible exactly right this time. yeah i can hear you sweet how's everybody doing i'm doing, doing good? great how are you doing that's the bigger question yeah i'm, I'm a little sick but you know Try and get through it. Well, cool. I'm glad you're here, man. It's nice to you know finally hear from you. I I know you're always in the chat, and I appreciate that as well. Um, so let's get your take on it on everything that we've been talking about. When is the air cut coming out? <laughs> <laughs> Why does Jesse want to know? <laughs> I don't know. He's just trying to be helpful. <laughs> I'm getting, but um, it's illegal to cough in Australia <laughs> at the moment, <laughs> so nobody would go to a theater. Well, you know, that's what I'm saying, but I, I do agree with what Matt was saying. Theaters are not going away because humans are not going away, our brains are attached to the experience of going to a theater, uh, to the experience of something uh, other people in, in our community. But the problem is, is that if, if it stays closed for too long, then the, the younger generation that's coming up now that won't be a thing for them. They won't go to theaters. Oh. Their whole thing is that I watch stories and I experience these things on not just my TV at home, but on my phone, on my tablet. And I, and I, I experience them by communicating with my friends on social media at the same time. That's how, that's how I communicate. And that's how I experience media these days. And that's and I'm not saying that's how I am, but I'm saying that's what will end up happening to certain people. And uh, I, I just think that that plays, that plays against movie theaters because we all know if you go see a movie, you can't talk. You, sh you shouldn't be talking. Uh, people who talk in a movie need to be slapped. I'm sorry. I can't stand it when someone's talking during a movie when I'm seeing that theater. I want to be like, dude, can you shut up? Or someone just like whistles and you're like. <laughs> yeah, or, or someone's on their phone. It's hella, like, hella bright. You're like, yes, dude, can you like I've lower your that. brightness? Come on, man. Oh, my gosh. That pisses me um, off. Like, I just want to say, um. Oh, Gilbert's now overrated. See, they, they, there you go. Uh, let's see. Uh, El Cappy says, Joker in general uh, has always been overrated character. Uh, never really cared for him, but somehow Jared Leto and David Ayer got me interested in, in, his, in this version of the Joker. That one? You're kidding me? Really? It was a good one. I mean... Oh, I didn't think so. I am sorry. Yeah, but you also like Jack Nicholson, so yeah. Oh, don't you? Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! See, oh look, look, he's got a picture of him right there. That's just crazy. Now, this is Joker. So I thought Jack, Jack Nicholson thought way too much with his dick. <laughs> what? 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 What are we talking about here? He was motivated by his dick. Action towards Vicky mm -hmm. Possibly. So. That uh, Sickness writes, people who are people are really stubborn and, and they want to at least try to be safe. My neighbors are throwing a party right now <laughs> oh. <laughs> for their mom that died. How crazy is that? She she was only 40, 40 something as well. So that's the thing though, is that you know, people are people are stubborn and I'm sorry to say this, but people are people are fucking lazy. And if you give them the option not to go anywhere and to do things from home, they're going to do it because nobody wants to go anywhere anymore. Nobody wants to like be around other people. Uh, even worse is when someone lobs a drink cup over the crowd. I don't know they do that. God, that's, just, that's, a, that's quite the yeah, uh, theater I mean, experience right there. People do that? People do a lot of stupid shit in theaters. Yeah, I mean. I used I'm to usually. work at one a long time ago, and people used, would do the dumbest things. I, I one time, th what happened was somebody, two kids apparently, they they got a stack of napkins in their palm, right? So that they had in their hand. And what they did was they went over and they started pumping the uh, the the mustard and the relish and the ketchup into like into like this big pile on their hand, right? 
And so what they did was, and, and mind you, they, they had a napkin over their hands, so they're basically holding all of it together. And then they went into the theater, and you know how a stadium seating has, you know, it's kind of like a wall as you walk in, kind of like a tunnel, you know, because the seating is going up. So they went over there, and they just threw the napkins over the, uh, uh, onto the seats. And people came out, and they were like, oh, what the fuck? It was really, it was really <laughs> bad. We were like, what the hell is this? Um, and we, and we never caught the kids either because they got them on camera running out of the, out of the theater and that was it. We, we couldn't yeah. tell who they were. We were like, wow, that sucks. I was like, what about you, you know, jerks? Yeah. If I were to use like, uh, something to explain right now, it would be a close <laughs> phone, close exactly. Phone joke, this, but... <laughs> that's the 4d experience right there. <laughs> oh, so bad. Yeah. Is it just me? Or is it getting crazier out there? I know, right? El Capi writes, I'm an introverted person, so social distancing was, was a gift for me. See? I mean, oh, of course. <laughs> right. Before COVID hit, I saw job listings on uh, Craigslist uh, to go from theater to theater to make sure certain trailers play before certain movies. What? I was like, that's a job. Man, Kevin, if I would have saw that, I would have jumped all over it. I'm telling you guys. Yeah, me too. I mean, that would... I'm that too, yeah. Yeah, yeah, seriously. Trailers. How that? Yeah, I have a friend who is just a huge germaphobe, and he's he loves his stuff. <laughs> he loves his stuff. <laughs> I look, even you can call me Joker uh, agrees. <laughs> uh, Joker says Joker overrated. <laughs> Human mind is overrated. That's why characters like Joker needs to be visualized. Yes. Thank yes. you, man. Thank you. Yeah. Um. So, guys, now that we've already kind of uh, just kind of beat the dead horse when it comes to the theaters. The next big thing that's coming out that is is in early the early stages of production in in pre planning development, if you will, is the Spider Verse. Yeah. So it looks like they're that they're trying to make a live action Spider Verse movie, which I think is great. Um, you know, I I would love to see Tobey Maguire. I'd love to see Andrew uh, Garfield. All those guys together. I, I I can see you, Andrew. That's the original Spider Man. There he is. <laughs> and uh, I cannot drink during a movie at theaters because I have to piss halfway through it. It's true. Every time I, mean, I get a beer at a theater, I'm like, why did I do this for? Because now I have to go to the bathroom. I so mean, I agree. Like with Endgame, now you have to go to certain moments during the, the bathroom. Well, that's why. I Get any concessions during Endgame? Like, nope, I'm not getting any. That's why. No. I get... Exactly. Built exactly. Back. I watched the whole. Uh, I watched all of Endgame, and I didn't go to the bathroom. And uh, even during Infinity War, I had to go to the bathroom. I was like, I'm not going to go. And I actually, I thought Infinity War was really good. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I liked Infinity War a lot. Um, yeah. It's fire. <laughs> it is fire. <laughs> um, let's see here. So. We know that you know some of the art that I posted the other day, you know, from Boss Logic. I mean, Ooh. obviously, look, this is not this is not official, but what I'm saying is that it gives you a different perspective of the character. Now, to see him like that as opposed to how he was like this, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's just a dude in a hoodie with like crazy skin. At least with this one, he actually looks like a super villain, you know. He also yeah, looks like, I mean, like uh, as uh, as Ryan Zebrafed told me, he looks like Reverse Flash. <laughs> really? <laughs> but, well, he uh, the, the headpiece resembles the Flash. But what that does though is the headpiece gives a different take on the original look of uh, Electro because Electro had had that star look on his head. So now, if you take those and make them part of, of his his suit of his headpiece, then I think that's pretty cool. Yeah, I mean. As long as he's not making birthday puns, uh, light my candles. I'm good. Yeah, exactly. Well, I mean, and we know it's going to change because, I mean, the post that Jimmy Fox put out, uh, I mean, it says it in the post, he says, you know, tell Spidey, let's run it back. Super excited to be a part of the new Marvel Spider Man new installment. Can't wait for y'all to check this one. Uh, can't wait for y'all to check the new one. And I and I won't be blue in this one, but a thousand times or a thousand percent badass. Oh, my picture. <laughs> and that's why I go back to this artwork and think, yeah, I mean, it, if I saw something like this or anything, you know, something anything like this, yeah, I'm so excited to see that. Now, the question I have for you guys is, and this is a question I was asking the other uh, on, on the other night was, if you had to bring back two villains from each iteration, okay, so from from uh, the Sam Raimi or Tobey Maguire's Spider Man, Andrew Garfield's Spider Man, and the, the current one. Who would you choose? 
So Andrew, Ooh. you're ready to jump out of your damn seat. You you go ahead oh. and go first. Oh, I'm so sorry, man. Sorry. <laughs> oh no, I didn't mean to do that. No, you're good. Go ahead, oh, okay. go. Okay. From Sam Raimi, I have to go with William Defoe's Green Goblin and Alfred Molina's Doc Ock. And from... Doc Ock, yeah, Alfred Molina, I believe, needs to be in, in the movie. Alfred Molina is the most underrated actor, one of the most underrated actors out there, and I love everything he's in. If he's if he's in this film, it's gonna take off. I, I yeah, love that guy. And William Defoe is the Green Goblin. Yeah, all right. from the Amazing series, that's tough because. Most of them have been good, but if I had to choose, I'd say the lizard. Yeah, and, yeah, the, the lizard would be good. And from the Tom Holland films, I had to say Michael Keaton's Vulture and Jake Gyllenhaal's Mysterio. Yeah, well, I, I mean, and, and so far for him, I mean, those have been the only two that he's gone up against, really, unless you yeah. count the you know when he's gone against the, the villains from. Yeah, the two shockers, or from the MCU, you know, in his in the Avengers movies. But I think everyone he went against in those movies are all dead because <laughs> they're all Thanos' people, so they all got wiped out. So, all right, Batman, what about you? Okay, so say from Sam Raimi, I would definitely have to say Green Goblin and Doc Ock. Those actors are both great characters, and they can bring Green Goblin back from the dead somehow. I don't know with magic and what. As for as for Mark Cubs, um, there's really only two options: is the lizard and and Electro. I mean, those are the only two options, really. I mean, right? Oh, yeah. No, no. And then for and then for the, I would say Vulture and Shocker. Shocker. Herman Schultz, which is Shocker's real name, so. Oh was actually like the sh like the, the main guy to be shocker was actually shocker from the comics until Keaton had to go no I, I actually looked this up for a while the shocker is still alive what do you mean he's still alive Herman Schultz shocker from and this MCU he's still alive really because I saw him disintegrated yeah, yeah he is disintegrated. Shocker. He's breaking up. Say it again. Say it again. The first Shocker disintegrated in the beginning of the movie, and then someone else. Had who yeah. The guy was Herman Schultz, the Shocker from the comics. Oh, I see what you mean. So uh, they, they they progress to the one who's actually in the comics, is what you're saying. Oh, uh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> What's up, Rasha? I'm so glad you're here. Now, Kevin, I I totally agree with you. Infinity War was better than Endgame. Uh, I mean, I, Endgame was still cool, but I didn't like the whole. Uh, the way they, that they handled the the time travel and how they um, they came up with the idea, they just sort of like just said, ah, "Don't well, worry no about stake, it. No one yeah. dies." Yeah, it, well, it was just kind of like they didn't put much. Like it's almost as if they didn't know how to explain it, and so they just kind of went with it, and then yeah, you know that was it. Yeah, in my opinion, uh, I thought it was fine. Uh, I was, I did enjoy like the third act, like the portal scene and Cap and Mjolnir. But oh well, that, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I mean that whole third act was badass. But, uh, yeah, but there know. was some. There was a couple of cringe scenes. I, I, I would say. Yeah, like, like the, Professor Hulk. Yeah, he was. Yeah, I, I didn't enjoy oh, Professor, Hulk Professor Hulk at all. Hulk. That was horrible. Absolutely I want horrible. Edward Norton Smashing Hulk. <gasps> yeah, dude. Even Mark Ruff Smashing Hulk, because like, I think what I think it was like of the Disney acquisition, or it was like right after. Like, it didn't have as much influence in that. Hulk. Hmm. Or, and it was, a, it was another show that Iron Man 3 was like the first Disney movie. Yeah, that's true. So, but yeah, I don't know. Professor Hulk, he, yeah, not good. And the I didn't like because so you right, go back in time. That was I, Batman. I could barely hear you. You okay. keep cutting in and out. I think your Wi Fi is acting up. No, I know what it is. I was less, I was resting my phone on my stomach. Oh, that's what it was. And it was too far oh. away. So it was like just tripping out. Well, the, the, the sound comes from the bottom of the phone. Oh, so that's oh. what it was. But I was so like, you know, what's happening? So you know how they create a new universe when they go back in time? That's right. true. Right. So they basically screw over these other universes and don't care. Loki got away. Hydra thinks Captain America's on their side. 
they, they like they caused this shit for the other universe and they don't give a flying fuck. Like, uh, yeah, no, 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 no. That you are so matter. right. See, no, they did, and 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 they did it without any sort of like, you know, oh, like, well, they said. It. We're gonna go back and, and and put everything back the way it was. You can't do that though. Not with time travel. You yeah. can't just go back and fix things. You know, oh, there. Yeah, we put I mean, the stones back. The back. Yeah, you can't do that. You can't. They put, they put the stones yeah. back, but there was other damage that was done. So yeah, I mean, like if it went now that twenty twelve Loki's gone, that means Thor two never happens. Right. At least in that right. universe. Yeah. So. Yeah, and just, I can agree. So, and then like, oh, and how's Hydra gonna react to Captain America? Because he thinks they're they're on his side, and Captain America has no idea about Hydra. So they made things a lot worse for Captain America. Oh yeah, in the Winter Soldier movie. Well, like, well, exactly, because this was before Winter Soldier when Cap when present day Captain America's like hail Hydra when they're back in time in the first Avengers timeline. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I thought Terminator had confusing timeline. No, oh, God, Terminator. And actually, like the Agents of Shield season fin series finale, they did. They explained it better. They had the same rules, but they explained it a lot better. Oh, and they actually cared about the other timeline. They didn't want to screw it over. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, definitely. But also, also, um, I agree with them. But also, you know how I said I, I hated how they handle Cold. I also handled hand hated how they handled Thor. Same. Oh yeah, that was yeah. The uh, Fat Thor was terrible. I yes, was, and so yet fat, people love it. And the thing is, so I didn't actually hate Fat Thor so much, but it was played as a joke. That's not something you play as a joke. He was going through depression, and they played it for laughs. Yeah, where's the where's the guy? <laughs> Kevin, Kevin, he was five minutes behind the live stream. How did that happen? Yeah. But no. So anyway, uh, I was saying is um, they play as a joke. You're right. Yeah, where's the God of Thunder who said, "Bring me Thanos"? <laughs> exactly. And he went from that badass scene to a fat Thor. I, I just, I, I don't, I don't get that. Yeah. I don't. Well, I'm playing than... Ragnarok for that because Ragnarok's what, what really effed up Thor's character. Yeah, making I, him all jokey. I mean, yeah, he was kind of jokey, but I, I, I like Ragnarok. I, I thought it had really good action scenes, and I, I thought it was a cool take on a Marvel movie. Uh, it kind of felt more retro. Kind of eighties esque, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, but I um, thought that uh, that the you, how can you go from that Hulk to then you you make him a Professor Hulk in uh, Endgame? I mean, you're building the Hulk up to the point where he was like this savage character, and then he lost all of that to where I mean no. he was non-existent in that last battle. Yeah, and also um, I. I yeah, and when it comes to Ragnarok, that opening scene, you know, where he fights uh, Surtur with the uh, with Neil there, that was the Thor I was I I will I miss. Oh yeah, no, definitely. Yeah, I mean, they destroy Neil there. They destroy Asgard. His his dad, his mother, his brother. They make him jokey. It's like the it's like the MCU and Buggy hates Thor and the Hulk. Mm -hmm. Disney. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, I uh, wait. I think I know why. Because they don't. Because you know how Thor and Hulk are really powerful. Yeah, I think they didn't want to steal. They wanted to dumb those two down to make way for Captain Marvel. Oh yeah. God, if they did that, I, I would hate. I would hate if that was the answer. Oh, why they did it? I, I, that would be horrible. Well, um, well, she's not that and, powerful when oh, they. Oh fight. yeah, she well, has no, no. In the final fight. I mean, because. All of a sudden, she needs help from all these other females. Like, so that could be Malik. No. Uh, no yeah, and all and all the girls show up. <laughs> will help her. That was a kind of a cringe scene. I was like, oh, really? I mean, it was cool, you know. But I was just like, all right, whatever, you know. Yeah, <laughs> I appreciate the principle, but the execution was not. Was yeah, not exactly, good. exactly. Because, um, Bad Dan. Out of the, the main six Avengers, the only ones who were done right were Iron Man and Captain America. Yeah. I thought Hot Guy was kind of done pretty cool compared to like his comic book counterpart. Oh, well, I mean, they didn't give him much of a character until he showed him his family and then he made Bronin. Okay, but 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 look at this scene again, you guys. I mean, oh, this is yes. this is so badass. I mean, oh, 
Oh, give me this one back. Don't mess with the guy up in there. Yes. I love when the uh, sky goes black. It's so cool. Oh, I know. And it was funny is that I remember when I saw it in the theater, like when he goes up into the air and, yeah, and the sky goes black and then you see all the, the thunder building up. I remember I was like, holy shit. You know what I mean? It's like, thunder has full yeah, light. I was like, yeah, this is badass, you know? And then, um, and then they did know. this. Yeah. And then they made him fat. Well, I thought it was yeah. cool when they show him making Stormbreaker. Like when Groot cuts off his hand, I love the part where like his hands are like sizzling with lightning. Yeah, and I'm just like, oh, yeah, because that scene you just showed that was basically Thor at his full power. Yeah, at his full power, and then like next time you see him, even at the end when he's fighting against Thanos, like the whole time he's still Fat Thor. You know, oh, <laughs> like yeah. he's got armor on, but he's still Fat Thor. And, and, what can they make him skinnier? Well, that's the thing is that I kept thinking, okay, wait, are they going to eventually just like, like, is he going to do something and he's going to drop all the weight somehow, like some way? But no, it, it, he, he, he saved Fat Thor the whole movie. And I mean, it was funny for a minute, but then I was kind of like, wait, we're going to keep this going. Like, I don't understand. Like, why do we need to do this? Um, well, well, I don't know. Chris Hemsworth fought for Fat Thor to stay longer. Wait, what? Really? Yeah, I read that somewhere that Chris Hemsworth was one who fought for that because I think he... Because he liked the character, like he thought it was like a different, you know, I can't explain as well as the article can, but basically, you know, it, I think it was something about like kind of showing Thor's struggle, which again, Fat Don't Thor put it as a joke. Work. Exactly. It was a joke. That is the problem. If Fat Thor was taken seriously, I would have been fine with it for the whole movie. Because here's the thing, funny moments can have serious, funny movies can have serious moments. So even if they want to be a little bit lighter in tone, they can have serious moments. It won't kill them. But it felt like, yeah. like Endgame was a movie that should have not have been funny. I mean, I'm like half the world got destroyed, and yeah, and then like five years later, they're acting like nothing happened. I mean, look at us with COVID. yeah, they're like, hey, how you doing? Enjoying your day? Yeah, it's like well, like also, so, well, like we say with us with COVID, it's like if things get, let's say things get back to normal somehow this year, things are going to be the same as they were, and that's only a few months. So you're telling me after five years of half the world being gone that things are like they were? <laughs> yeah, like, right. I mean, like, yeah. if you look at Spider-Man Far From Home, it was like, it was exactly like things, like it never happened. And then they're like, like oh, oh uh, wait, they man. called it the blip. I was like, what? What? Like, why would you choose that word to describe what just happened? Like, that, no, that was horrible. I was that like, brings me to my other thing. thing. What's that? Um, other than Thor and Hulk, I kind of feel like, you probably you can disagree, but I kind of feel like the MCU uh, did this guy dirty. Uh, I feel like the third movie has a chance to redeem that because here's here's my controversial opinion: it, we're not seeing Spider Man in those films. We're seeing the origin of Spider Man, the development of Spider Man. Now, I do think Far From Home effed up by having Tony Stark rely on him at, in the second movie. Like the first movie, him relying on Tony Stark wasn't a horrible because it was his first movie, but the second. I think there's an echo. I'm going to put on some headphones so that I'm not... Yeah, but before, before you continue, I just want to say, like, when I see... For the three actors who play Spider-Man, when I see Tatum, I see Spider-Boy. When I see Tobey Maguire, I see Spider-Man. Yeah, yeah, but the thing is, Tom Holland is actually a high schooler. That's the thing. That's Well, that's what he's supposed to be. Well, not every school. version has to be in high school. But that version was. The issue... So, like, with Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield... Oh, that sounds so much better. <laughs> oh, okay, good. Good. And immediately Sorry. it was like bam. <laughs> so with Andrew Garfield and Toby Maguire, in like at least in the beginning of the movies, they were in high school, but they didn't look like they were in high school. Tom Holland is the only one yeah. to be in high yes. school to look like he's in high school. No, I agree. He's the only one that looks the age. He looks the part in terms of being in high school. Yeah, Tobey yeah, Maguire but... did not look like a high schooler. Andrew Garfield did not look like a high schooler. Uh, but but Tom Holland definitely does. Um, yeah, well, but Toby but... had one movie to grow out. Tom Holland had five films. 
Well, I, I, but that's yeah. not that's not his fault. That's just how they were able to develop his character, which which in his case he was in luck. Uh, Rasha says, "Would it have succeeded if Stark wasn't in it, though?" Yes. Uh, yeah, I, 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 I think Spider Man, in my opinion, is a strong enough character so. that he can carry his own movie, regardless on who's playing Spider Man. Um, well, people are are gonna see it regardless. Well, in my opinion, well. I'm okay, like with how you do it, as long as they keep like the core and aspect of who Spider-Man is, and that's why he does it because of Uncle Ben, which is it can be a mention, and with great power comes great responsibility. If you keep those things, then you got a good Spider-Man. Exactly. That was one thing I did not like was that they left out Uncle Ben. You can't, like, you can't do that. Look, look at the Spider-Man PS4 what? game. Yeah, but you know what? Though, mentioned. I, but but I kind of felt like that was a good thing in the sense because. We've already seen that story so many times, and we know that story so much. Just similar to, uh, like, like Martha it, and Thomas. Exactly, then. exactly. But they showed it, but they kind of did it in the opening credit scene. You know, it, they kind of got through it as, as fast as they could, but but still paid respect mm -hmm. to it. But I think that when it came to Spider Man, it's like, hey, look, do we want to go through the motions of this whole thing again? No, we want to just let's start it off to where that's already happened. Yeah, so Jesse that, agrees with me. But you have to mention it still. That's the thing. You don't yeah. need to show it, but they didn't mention it. They that didn't the mention issue. it, and it should have been more of a uh, um, what do you call it? It needed to be something that was brought up more often that affected him. It, yeah, it feels like, more like it, like that happened, and it sucked. But you know, we got to move on. And yep. Tony Stark has a bigger that was bigger than Uncle Ben. Yeah, mm -hmm. that was not good. That was not good at all you cannot replace yeah you could at least have him go like oh, yeah. after what happened with uncle ben I, I need i don't know how i could live with myself there that's it yeah you don't need to like i mean the spider-man ps4 game like they don't show uncle ben but they mention him you feel yeah. like he was important but you didn't you didn't have to it wasn't like a repeat a rehash but i mean it would be like if you skip batman's parents dying like i'm not saying showing you need to show it but it'd be like if you didn't have them mentioned at all or like see him in a newspaper, like an old newspaper. Exactly. It's just like Batman like never mentions his parents. He just says like, "Oh, there was." Yeah. I don't know. I can't think of it. Like I'm trying to like yeah. mock the yeah. quote that he said in Civil War. Spider yeah, Man, but um, I can't. This is why I think this guy stayed mostly to the source material. But at the same time, though, those that iteration of Spider Man and Andrew Garfield, they they were given the opportunity. To, to, to go through the motions of losing Uncle Ben. Tom Holland's Spider-Man wasn't, but he was given more time in other films to develop that character. So it was kind of a give and a take with both of them. But I agree with Batman saying, though, is that it should have been mentioned more, and it should have been a, it should have been a bigger topic when it came to Spider-Man. Regardless of, of what iteration it is, it should have always been a very important uh it, it needed to be a cornerstone, you know, for him. That like, Definitely. hey, this this happened and it affected me, and I'm never going to forget that because it played a major role in in, in developing uh, the person I am today. So yeah. I think that that, that the need to be addressed, and I mean, maybe they will and, the next one. Who knows? And um, like the great power comes great responsibility. Yeah. How do you guys uh, I, feel about um, the MCU's version of Aunt May? Aunt May? Oh, listen. Eh, Two years. Not at least that bad, hot, Aunt May. I'm more, I'm right. more the, I like I the, mean, the Rosemary and Harry. Her and together. Well, one thing yeah. I never really got is why are Uncle Ben and Aunt May like his grandparents? They're his aunt and uncle, not his grandparents. They were, you know, I felt like in the Tobey Maguire, they were too old. And maybe the comics whoa, do it, but whoa, then it's whoa. weird in the comics. Well, I mean, Aunt May has always been pretty old. Um, but you're right though. They do come across more like grandparents because I mean, you're talking about like they have gray hair, they're senior citizens and really they're like mm -hmm. his aunt and uncle. So unless yeah, but... what? Oh, sorry. Um, but oh, go ahead. in most versions of Spider-Man, like the nineties cartoon, the spectacular and even the Raymond Chosie, they, 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 they look like that. Yeah. And it's weird. I don't think it's weird. <laughs> so yeah, it's weird. <laughs> I mean, well, I mean, to be honest, I didn't actually. So I saw like the '90s cartoon. Mm -hmm. I didn't think it was that good, honestly. <gasps> you know what? Hey, you know, you know what, Batman? I, 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 I somewhat agree with you. I liked the cartoon a lot, but I didn't think it was as good as like the X-Men cartoon or or the Batman the animated series. I thought yeah. it was it was still a good. It was still really good, but 
it, it could have been better. Exactly. Um, well, there were certain characters I didn't like. Like Aunt May felt like a useless character mm-hmm. to me. She wasn't smart. Aunt Anna, that character I hated like in her first episode. What like, about that version of Spider Man? The version of Spider Man was okay. That version of Spider Man was okay, but there was like a lot of writing didn't make sense. Like it felt like the people blamed Spider Man literally for no reason. Like when like Morbius got went missing, zero evidence. They blamed Spider Man. You see oh, yeah, Morbius in a right. building from a distance. Clearly not Spider Man, but he's on a building. Oh, it's Spider Man, even though he looks nothing like him. And also when um when he got the Venom symbiote on him after the jet engine. That happens again. Exactly. Well, it's like- okay, okay. So that's the other thing too is that if we get the Spider Verse movie right, and we get because I mean, uh, who was it? I was talking with uh, uh, Philip Barker, host of uh, Superhero Stress. He was on the show, and he had a really good, really good idea, saying that what if the Sinister Six is six villains, two from each iteration of Spider Man, and love that's that. what makes your Sinister Six. And I was like, wow, that's 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 really cool, you know. Um, but. Uh, Oh, yeah, what were we talking about that? Oh, yeah, yeah we were, you didn't go, did you? The, the four. Oh, yeah, we completely went off track. <laughs> yeah, I know, we, we went off the rails here. Gavin, did you have four that you wanted to choose, or do you agree with Andrew and uh, Bat Dance? Uh, this... Yeah, I. well, for Raimi's, I had um, uh, Doc Ock, because I don't feel like they'll bring back Willem Dafoe, in my opinion. What? Oh, I don't, don't I would love Because Willem Dafoe, like, clearly died. Yeah, that, yeah, he, he like, right, but, definitively but I, died. I but I I guess Sandman because I just feel like oh, Sandman, Sandman and Doc Ock would be the ones to come back. But then from Amazing Spider Man, I would I would have to say Lizard. But I there's here's a hot take for you. I didn't hate the Kid Goblin. Dandy Hun. Yeah, he wasn't. Bad. I just didn't like they skipped over Norman. <laughs> yeah, that same. Yeah. That, yeah. that was the problem. I hated that Norman died like that. Like from, it would have been better if he was just Hobgoblin, like Harry was Hobgoblin, and then you yeah. didn't have to be taken over that green. And you could like leave that open for later movies. Yeah, that's why um, I prefer, I like the Willem Dafoe's Green Goblin. I mean, that is he is yes. Well, apparently, the Amazing Spider-Man Two, the original post-credit scene, had something to do with Norman Osborn. Oh yeah, I heard something about like his head was like in you know, a frozen thing. Yeah, so he might have actually come back, but that was before Fox basically paid them to advertise X-Men. Oh yeah, oh I remember that in the theater. Well, here's the good: uh, they could be pulled from the universe before they die. I mean, maybe it well, all happens. At, it all happens at once. Who knows? I, you know, uh, you know, there's a problem with Spider Verse. Feige needs to find an actor that's pathetic and funny <laughs> that could that could equal baby the qualities of, of uh, Tom. <laughs> okay, well, he's like a high schooler. I mean, he's supposed was, to be a high schooler. That's the whole point. I mean, like yeah, every, when I was in high school, people were were as dramatic as Tom Holland. Now, granted, I was in choir, and choir kids, let's just say, were very dramatic, but. Yes, Jesse uh, Rishnan did leave because he had class, and so that's why he had to take off. Um, okay, well, before you can do as much, I like, okay, you got a point, but when I was watching the film, every scene, Tom Holland's like, Mr. Sir, Mr. Sir, I'm going to get a suit. It's there and not there. Yeah, I would have liked it if he made his own. Like, I like this homemade suit. Yeah. You know, I thought it was kind of goofy, but I would like, because that, that was one of my favorite parts of Garfield's. Well, see, oh, yeah. Him. Ain't oh, even Toby's. Nothing can beat the human spider. Toby's with him drawing what he wanted yes, to, see to look I like. I love that scene. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, I I think that if you're gonna have a sophisticated suit like Spider Man, having someone like Tony Stark make it for you makes a lot more sense. In the being all the Stark tech, and it'd be well, good. no, but 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 even if you didn't have the Stark tech. It would make sense that he made the suit for him. You know what I mean? Like, cause like how 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 do they make <laughs> Russia yes, way too much? That's right, Mr. That's Stark, right. Mr. Stark. Yeah, there was too much. He's of that. right. There, there was a lot. It was way too much of it. Uh, remember, Feige uh, tried to get Oscorp Amazing Spider Man. Um, yeah, he true? did. Like there were talks that the Amazing Spider Man was going to be in the MCU, and that's why all those cranes and all, all those uh, construction work was happening in, in, in the third act. Is because they were trying to rebuild New York after the uh, New York battle in uh, Avengers. <laughs> that that yeah. was how they were going to try and like spin that. Um, but that oh, that never... would have been cool. They should have kept yeah. that. 
Well, you that's what they're trying to do. But, but, with the MCU cast. But then, but you, you gotta remember too, though, was that after Spider-Man Two, Garfield didn't want to do the role anymore. Mm -hmm. Everything fell apart. He got bad reviews, and then so that whole idea was scrapped. And then they, that's when they went to uh, Marvel and said, "Hey, hey, let's just see what we can do. Mm -hmm. Working this thing, you know, try to work it out." But and that I sucks because that they were so much planned. They had so much planned with like the Sinister Six movie. Exactly. Exactly. That they were making the Craven. I'm pretty sure. And yeah, they still Craven. had the Venom movie. And then Venom is still on its own little island. It's kind of like it's it softly connected to the MCU, but it's not. They put it in San Francisco, and the only thing that happens over there is Ant Man is is, is 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 in San Francisco, but you don't get any references to him. So and, um, what? And you also got the uh, Morbius with Michael Keaton showing yeah, up. Morbius. Yeah, yeah, that's the first real connection to the MCU because I think what they said is they wanted to. With, when they made Venom, they wanted to leave the option open, but they didn't want to confirm it either. Yeah, yeah, they weren't so, ready to do that yet. But I think that was during the time too, where Sony was actually contemplating on pulling their Spider-Man back, and because and, they wanted to renegotiate, they wanted more, uh, more money essentially. Because when uh, it was time to renegotiate, they knew that that Disney was going to go for the you know the jugular, and they did. They tried to go for everything. They wanted more stake in Spider-Man. They said no. And that's when they announced, hey, you know what? We're going to take our Spider-Man and, and, and we're going to do our own thing. Uh, I remember then, that. Then, I have then, a theory that that was faked, actually. What? It could have been, but I think that was real. And, and I think Sony did that because they knew, hey, look, if you want this guy, he's your newest, biggest property. You need to you need to play by our terms a little bit. And so I think that's, that's eventually that's just what happened. Yeah, but Disney got about... the better end of the deal because Disney got more stake in Spider-Man. Uh... What is this? What's he talking about? Vampire Nightclub. Oh, Blade. Yeah, that was a badass oh, scene. <laughs> that was a badass scene. Um, it sucks yeah. that Wesley Snipes will not be uh, reprising his role as Blade, but yeah. yeah, he is a lot older, and and, and I understand that. But I, I loved Wesley Snipes' Blade. Mm -hmm. that was, yeah, me too. He was so I badass. I really hope they don't make this new Blade PG-13. I hope they just go uh, R. Yeah, it needs to be R. Oh, Kevin Feige, if you're Disney, listening, you're not gonna make anything hard. Same thing for no. Moon Knight. Like I, I heard the like, Moon yes. Knight on Disney Plus. I was Moon like, Knight. I was like, if this is PG thirteen, I'm like, I yeah, want to see Moon exactly. Knight freaking kill yeah, some people. Moon Knight be chopping his heads off. If it's on Disney Plus, it's not gonna be, it's not gonna be R or TV. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Because it's Disney doesn't then want you're Disney and your kiddiness. But it's too bad Disney doesn't have another streaming service they could use. Oh, too bad they don't. Oh, wait, they do. It's called Hulu. Just put uh, Blade yeah. on Hulu. Yeah, but, don't they own like 90% of Hulu? <laughs> yes, thank yeah, you, the Joker. They, they, own, they own Hulu. Oh, wait, uh, Rami had the best party. Uh, this is me blast that Doctor Strange. Um, so, and, and we'll see where all that goes to. I mean, that could be where they start to allude to the whole uh, Spider-Verse is, is in the uh, Doctor Strange movie, but, but we'll see. Um, but uh, PG-13 Blade, um, yeah. Oh, oh hell, hell no. no, no. I, I don't want I don't want that. I want a hard R uh, for Blade. Yeah. Oh, hell no! Okay, guys, so... <laughs> We're going to reach our next phase, and it's something that I don't normally do for Midnight Run, but I decided to do it this time because, like I said, this was the uh, viewer appreciation day. And so we're going to play the age game. Now, oh, my but, first we're, time. but we're short one player. We need one more player. So if anyone out there in the chat can join just to play the game, you can join right now. I, ju I just posted the link in the chat. The first person to, to jump on, I'll take, and we'll go from there. Um, but I have to switch to my computer, FYI, because my phone's dying. So I'm going to be leaving and rejoining. All right, do it now. <laughs> there, and, and he's back. That that quickly. Oh, that was quick. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was seeing my computer loaded up before I left. So like that way, I would be able to come on right away. Yeah. I heard him power it on. I was like, I was like, oh, I was like, someone's so, something's happening. So yeah, guys, my phone twenty three percent. So if anyone in the chat wants to join, please do so now. It would just be for the game, and then we're and then we're gonna wrap this up because uh, I need to. So I started watching Cobra Kai, and I like it a lot, and I want to keep watching it. Um, so I want to make sure that I have time to watch that as well because Cobra Kai is something I need to get through. I also need to get through uh the boys as well. Uh, I'm in the middle of watching that. Don't I don't want to talk about it because I haven't finished it yet. I haven't caught up yet, but I'm I'm getting there. Um, 
it's really El- good. Happy, I am going to. I I'm going to make that one. I really am. What's up, Gitter? All right. Oh, hey, Gitter. So I don't think we're going to get another participant in the game. So oh. what we're going to do is we're going to make this just a three-way uh, challenge here. Okay, you know what? No, I saw that. Sickness. Oh, it, I did it too. It, it was funny, but it, it deals a lot with COVID <laughs> and everything. So I, I, I just want to stay away from that. But thank you for funny. saying me that, though. I thought it was funny. It, it was funny. He's like, um, you don't have a vaccine? Oh, I yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Uh, do a YouTube streamers eight? I'm doing it. I I, I want a, I'm doing it. I wanted a fourth player. Um, a YouTube streamers age game. I, I know what you mean now. Yeah, I should do that. Well, see, I um, here. Come on. So the game yeah. is easy. It's just two, if we get one more player, it's gonna be two on two, and basically you guys have to guess the ages of the actors or actresses that I put on the screen, and that's it. The first first team to three wins. I've never done it with three individual players, so that would be a little interesting. Uh, oh, it's only been two. Usually, it's just two teams or two people. So, mm-hmm. we've seen winners like Film Gob, and we've seen winners like Zod Rider, but we've never seen a three-way going at it. So, here we go. Uh, I don't think anyone's going to join this time. So, Rasha, Rasha, if you want to join, go ahead and do it now. If not, then that's fine. We're going to go ahead and get this started anyway. Okay. <laughs> So we have the team of Andrew, Bat Dan, and Gavin Cooley. Who will win? Only one will survive and be the winner. Okay, here we go. It's not me. He's all, it's not me. Okay, here we go. The first, let me see. I I can't do three on the bottom. Oh, I can do this instead. Hold on. There we go. Now I feel like the host. Okay, here we go. And we're going to go down in the same exact order as well. So, Andrew, this question is for you. Oh, boy. What? And you guys, before we get started, please turn off your um, – actually, just go to full screen. Do you guys know how to do that? No. Oh, you mean that? So, yeah. when, you, when yeah. you hover your mouse over the, uh, uh, the window that shows all of us talking, there will be a little full screen icon in the corner that pops up. I'm guessing I know why you want us to do that. Well, cause I don't want the chat to all of a sudden be helping you guys out. Oh, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> well, I, I feel like you would cheat, Andrew, so just put it on full screen. I don't trust you. Oh, just to, and just to clarify, I rip on everyone, so don't feel offended. I rip on everyone. Enosh. Enosh, you can join right now and play the game. Yeah, In fact, I need Enosh, a player. Enosh, do you want to join Enosh. and play the game? We're about yeah. to get started. If, it, 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 if you do this, it'll be awesome. You'll be, everyone will love you even more. <laughs> yeah, come on. Do it for me. Oh, damn. Do it for me. Let's see. I'm going to post it one more time and see if he does it. <laughs> We're all waiting now. Great. Like, you know, I'll be there. Lord, Lord. I'm going to keep going back and forth in your comments. <laughs> Okay, so we're just gonna go and get started. If he shows up, then we'll we'll, we'll kind of. Oh, oh, he's, here, sure. he's, coming. he's coming! He's coming! He's coming! Everybody, everybody, quiet down! Quiet down! He's coming! Okay, quick, turn the cameras off. We'll say surprise. I know. <laughs> I think he's I on his phone. Turn the cameras off. So, we'll say okay. surprise. Let's see. Hold on. He says he's coming. I I I I don't see him yet. Oh, well, you cried wolf. There we go. <laughs> That's not what? What is this? Oh, oh boy. Jesse, is that you? No. Jesse. Enosh. <laughs> well, Enosh, if you snooze, you lose. If you want to be a real gal, go no, ahead. Get, get out of here, gal. You're not joining <laughs> the show under false pretenses. Oh, here he is. There he is. Yeah. Yeah. Where are Enosh? Give me a minute. I was making popcorn. I was cutting strawberries earlier. I was trying to chill. Oh, <laughs> hey, we, got hey, yeah. we got Geeks oh, Cosmics as well. On, he, he's also here. Oh, uh, and he's gone. So, oh. Geeks, once you get yourself set up, and if you want to come on next time, that's fine. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and get started right now. So, this is how we're going to do this, okay? All right. We are going to put together the team of Andrew and Bat Dan. And Sweet. you're going to have you're going to have Enosh and Gavin, okay? Ooh. What's up, Gavin? Oh, oh, does these team allow to help each other figure out? What up, Lordy? Well, yeah, we can like work <laughs> together because that's oh, yeah. okay. You guys can work together at that, at that point. So let me see. Working I can together. go to this screen, and there we go. Now you have two and two. Okay. Hey, Notch. What's up, man? 
everyone's really excited that you're here, Enosh. I'm yeah. also excited that you're here. I always love having you on my show. I'm glad to be here, man. Thank you for having me on your show. <laughs> I, uh, and I'm on I, earlier, right? You're you're on earlier. Uh, we both Ooh. have our good friends with us. I, 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 I wanted you to know, I threw to your show earlier. I threw to your show earlier when we got oh, done with you? our, because I mentioned that I had a special guest, but he had to go back to your show. And I told everybody to go watch him on your show because he's the star of the Nicotina show. And that, uh, you know, he, he was just, he was just commenting on the nonsense with us. So, oh, okay. So, Stop. Was, it's not. Just, <laughs> Stop. <laughs> <laughs> it's like getting two dogs together. Right. It's like, yeah, exactly. Like, uh, we get an original trilogy R2, a prequel trilogy R2. You know, R2 hasn't said anything this way. Well, actually, <laughs> his is a little different from mine. Enosh actually does more than mine. <laughs> oh, wait, Nicotina, if you could sell R Sacrifice R2, your R2 would be the Starlap kit to get back next time. Ah. No, hey now. Ooh, you hey, guys, come yeah, down. I would. I, I would. <laughs> Yes, I would. I throw your ass in there in a heartbeat. Okay, hey, go. don't say that about him. He's an R2 unit, too. He has every right to be on this show. It's his show. Uh, come <laughs> I can bet a bunch of curse words. I know. Wait. Like, he's not from Disneyland or special. Feet. If you're going to act like that, I'm going to put you down. That's enough. That, that's two enough. at the same time. It's madness. Oh, I know. Uh, we, we'll talk about that tonight. Okay? Oh, my goodness. That's how you need to win. All right. Okay, here we go. So we have our teams are set. Right, we are this. ready. This is funny. It's like hurting <laughs> <So> cats. <funny. laughs> okay. Okay. All right, here we go. So we're just guessing right. people's ages now. That's all yes. we're doing. All right. We're going to start off with the American legend. Mm. The American legend. Chuck oh. Norris. Chuck oh, Norris. Okay, Damn. this question is for Andrew and Batdan. How old is Chuck oh. Norris? Ooh. Okay, um, so what do you I'm think, man? in the seventies. Can you narrow that down a little bit more, Andrew? No. Oh, mm. that's not me. I was like, wait, wow. you saying like <laughs> Norris? Can 70s? you give us the answer, maybe, Nicotina? <laughs> 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 Detroit's <laughs> fight. Mm, <laughs> um, it down. <laughs> mm. I'm gonna say 70. I I can't decide between 68 or 72. I want to say one of those two. Yeah, well, maybe maybe I think he's maybe in his 50s or 60s. What are you gonna do? What, what, what's the answer? What's the answer? You want to do? You want to do 68? Yeah, if, unless you want to do another one. No, no, I'll do whatever you want, man. Let's do 68. Let's try that. All right, 68. Six, 68. Is your answer? Yeah. Oh hell no! Okay, now of Enosh and Gavin, how old is? I believe. I believe that he is. Uh, he's around my grandmother's age, which my grandmother's seventy-eight. So, but I want to say that he's probably about eighty. I want to say that he cracked eighty. So I would say, uh, Gavin, I'll leave it up to you, but I, but I'm pretty sure he's at least 80 to 82 years old, actually. Oh God! Well, I, oh, man. Man. I need like a of word. <laughs> what do you What do you think, Gavin? I'm a, I'm with you. I just, so you're saying 80? Yeah. Why don't we say 80? It's a it's a 80? good round number. Right. So, so what is is the idea to get like as close as possible without going over? No, you have to get the number. You right. have to get the number. Okay. Yeah. Well, <laughs> man, this is not the know. price is right. Well, I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't know what the rules are. I'm trying to get the rules. I'm, when I'm, I'm on Zebra Vet and he has rules, they oh don't go. He doesn't know. Yeah. Not all the, the rules, rules are out there. Oh my gosh. <laughs> He's going to okay. show up now. You know. So your answer is 80, right? Yeah, I'm going to go with 80. At <laughs> 80. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Are you serious? Oh my gosh. That's it. <laughs> that old? Oh my gosh, we he's nailed it like right there. Oh my, right. He's 80 oh years my old. Oh my gosh. Okay. And so, oh my gosh, that's crazy. I had no oh my idea. God. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, Russia knew yeah, it because isn't he like 80? <laughs> Dang, I was, gonna, I was literally going to go like 82. <laughs> here. 
I Bro, was thank gosh 82. for your grandmother. Oh my I god! Know, seriously. <laughs> well, because was... I remember hearing this. Like, I remember hearing this. Like, um, uh, probably. Well, I mean, just not too long ago, I heard something about him, and I and I recognized it was like my grandma. My grandma just turned seventy nine. So, wow, what the heck? that's look crazy. Right now. Does that look eighty to you? No, he, he looks, looks great. Right. He's he right. looks great <laughs> for being eighty. <laughs> I, had, I had the old background. <laughs> I feel I feel like we just the did the impossible. Show. Like we actually nailed wow. it right on the spot, right out the gate. Like I, I just feel like like it's all downhill from here. <sighs> well, hopefully, because <laughs> <it's all laughs> we got to win this game. We got to be okay. The Woo, next, Brian, okay, so Enosh team. Okay, Enosh, what's your team name? And Gavin, just so we know. Uh, uh, I, I I like to I like for the teams to pick their name. It, it, it just makes it a little more team. You know, uh, the Mega Powers, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mega yeah. Powers, and and, yeah. and Matt, Dan, and Andrew, uh, your team name, go. Team go. Tom Holland. Team Tom no, Holland. No, no, no. no. Oh, no. 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 Uh, <laughs> I know. Even your name gets booed. Okay, so. <laughs> You know, Ooh, yeah. Yeah. that's right. Your name sucks, and you know it. This is the Michael Man Randy Savage. Because we're coming down, me and Gavin, we're up on the top rope, and we're going to nail you with the big elbow in the middle of the ring, right on your name, right where it hurts, if you know what I'm saying. Dig it. How about Jared Nicholson? A combination of the two jokes uh, that we like. Uh, how about this? Team Toby Holland. Sure, we can do how about, how about how about Team Spider Man? Okay, that's what we're gonna call oh, you guys. Up. Okay, I love how they're going for the act for for like the actors. <laughs> <I know. laughs> they're being creative. Oh, sorry, I'm representing. <laughs> you know, I just hit by R two in the back. <laughs> He's like, Shut up! No, but okay. So here we go. Okay. Okay, Batman. Seeing the throne of victory. <laughs> okay, here we go. So the next actor. So Team was it was it Mega? Mega powers. The mega, mega powers. powers. Mega yeah. Powers. Hulk Hogan and Macho Man Randy Savage. He's the Hogan to my Savage. Yeah. Okay. So the first question was oh. was for Team Spider Man, and they and they didn't get it. Oh, so we but, stole it. But Enosh's team, they got it. So Wait, they're going first. So this goes actually back to. Uh, I'm gonna, I I'm love how they back. were here before me. Yet it's my team. <laughs> I, I know. I, I meant to say. I keep want to say Megazords, but that's not it. <laughs> no, please, God, no. Megazords. <laughs> okay, so for for um for Team Mega, what the fuck was it again? Jeez, <laughs> that was Team Shira. <laughs> team Shira. No, team Terminator. Old? How, okay. how old uh, is the call it Men of Steel? Okay, Men of Steel. Men of Steel. Men of Steel and Team Spider Man. Okay, Men of Steel. How old is this iconic actor from Zack Snyder's film 300? Gerard Butler. Gerard Butler. <sighs> you have Man. one minute to answer it, so I'm counting down right now. That's a long time, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I man. Um you think he's over the 50 line? I don't think he's over 50. I don't I don't think he's over 50 yet. Uh, gosh. I don't know. Um hmm. You think you think mid 40s? That I was yeah, probably like 40 like 6, 7. I'm 44, so I just turned 44. A couple weeks ago, so yeah, yeah, I'd go 20, 46. 20 seconds, 20 seconds. I'd go 46. You want to go 46? Yeah, yeah let's go 46. All right, 46. Oh, oh I'm so for sorry, a second, guys. For a, second, for a second, I thought we had it. I was like, yeah. no way, but yeah, okay. okay. Andrew and Bat Dan, Team Spider Man, what is the answer? I'm going with 50. Okay, we go with 50. 50? I had a fly in here. Okay, 50, and the answer is... Yeah. 50 is the answer. 50. He's 50 years old. Can you believe that crap? That's wow. crazy. Uh-oh. Matt, I thought you had to work. Oh, no, you're getting yourself ready before you work. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't start work till Friday. So 32 plus 2003 yes, like plus 50. 17 equals Lava Parkwa. Lava Parkwa. <laughs> That's a Lava Parkwa. <laughs> I am 49. The Lava Parkwa. 
And guys, just as a reminder, November 1st is going to be a special day on the Nicotina show uh, for the for the main Sunday show because we're going to have none other than Enosh and Johnny Pop to talk Ooh. about their show uh two cents on nonsense and we're gonna go deep into this too mm, uh, yes so mm. I'll, I'll get back to you you know about the details that that right. i have for that but we're, we're gonna dive into that whole show and and really dissect these are you doing characters. this on purpose what do you mean <laughs> are you because <laughs> like, like that's like the fifth thing fifth thing that you've said like today that like i don't know you're like we're gonna dive deep into that hole Thing. We're gonna dive deep. We've never seen a three-way go at it before. I know, right? You know, like, I'm like, what in the world are you doing, Nicotina? <laughs> Mike Zero, watch point extra loud. <laughs> <laughs> he does. He keeps saying. He keeps saying that these are my two cents. I'm just giving my two cents and like common sense. It's funny. Yeah. I wonder if he has watched your show. Oh, I'm funny. sure. I'm sure he's. I I know that for sure that he's watched like my my other videos, my my parodies and stuff I'd like, be like that. Why is he, 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 he just won't like, comment because his friends. Know? He actually has friends that have uh, messaged me right. and stuff. Yeah, okay, weird. so this one now goes to Spider Man. Yes, Spider Man. Okay, and right now the the game is tied one one. The first team to three wins. Okay, the oh. next the next actor or celebrity for that matter. Is none other than this is gonna be a tough one. Angela mm. Lansbury. Um mm. 82 is my guess. Mm. I think my guess is 94. What's your I guess? don't know who Angela Lansbury is. Honestly, I'm just telling based on how she looks. So do you actually know who she is, Andrew? Mm, not really, but my guess is for the age ninety four. Okay, so what's eight? So okay, what's eighty two plus ninety four divided by two? Whoa, dude! I don't Who's know. A, hey, Nicotina. What? I hate to, I had to do this to you, but I have to go drive my roommate to oh, no. his parents' house right now. So I think. All right, go me. for it, All right, Gavin. I think he was stopping Sorry. by. It's fine. It'll it it'll be Team Spider Man trying to team up on Enosh. It's fine. <laughs> I, I, I have faith in Enosh. Wow. Oh, Enosh. All right, come on, Enos. I'm leaving you. All right, all right. <laughs> Actually, um, when you said like you know who she is, I only looked up to see what she's. And apparently, she was like in. Um, Wait, what Shiro. are you doing? You can't no, go no, on no. IMDb. No, 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 not for the age, for something else. No, I don't know. I think you just played your hand. No, You're no, looking at the website. You can't yeah. do that. Not cool. Not cool. I think uh, we need a different one because I I I don't know if I, uh, I no 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 no. Given the fact that I'm by myself now, I want this question. I want no, you to take no, it away no, from them no. and give it to me. Here's why: okay. because I know somebody who knows Angela Lansbury, and I know how old she is. <laughs> okay, so he just played. Not, how old is Angela Lansbury? Uh, according to my friend, who was actually in a Broadway play with Angela Lansbury, she's 94 years old. That's right, everybody. Ninety-four is the answer. My buddy was also my my friend was also in a movie with her and Dick Van Dyke this about uh, last Christmas, and uh, yeah, yeah, so that's cool. And we would have gotten this one, Andrew, if you didn't look on our IMDb. Get off the internet, Andrew. You're supposed to go full screen. Well, technically, we're on the internet now. On the I know, screen. but oh, that's what he <laughs> yeah. does. He's hiding. <laughs> That's so he could do it without anybody seeing him do it, right? That's not cool, team. Yeah, team troll. <laughs> and this one's on my team. You know, wow. automatically wins. <laughs> Geeks, forfeit. Forfeit. Geeks, if you want to log in and be on his team, go for it. Forfeit. Yeah, let's give Geeks a chance to get uh, on. Oh, here we go. Look, he, he took the glasses off. He's really uh, this is intense. Ooh, ooh, oh, look at he's intense. He's not happy. Andrew, why are you mad? That's not what I was doing. I was just seeing what she, I wasn't looking up the age. It's fine. We're playing around, man. We're messing we're with good. you, dude. Yeah, you're okay, all good. Right. Okay, okay. Fine. Now let's bring you back down. Toby sucks. There you go. Be mad about that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. I don't really Next think question. Toby sucks. I love Toby. Okay, the next yeah. question for Bat Dan and, and Andrew, Team actually, Spider-Man. This is my is question, how... actually. This is my question. No, well, that it's going to go to them because I gave that to you, okay? Even though it was their question and it came to me then boy that's well, not you right. kind of got on a borderline rule though you started so. them you started them then you came to us and then you went back to them this is okay, the fourth so, question so, so it's now it's me again to, okay okay fine 
I'm just asking. Enosh, how old? I got geeks, Cosmo. Is Dawson Weedrich? Oh. <laughs> you want to know? I, I don't no. need any more time. I'm ready to go. Oh. All right, what is it? He is 24 years old. Twenty. No, actually, he he's not. Oh. He's he's actually twenty three. No, nope, he's twenty four. He's twenty four no, because today he, he said I'm practically twenty four. No, he yeah, just, he just told me last week that he's twenty four years old. He said practically twenty four today on the stream. He said, yeah. just, I'm just telling you, he told me last week. You know what? Dead no. on, he was twenty four. Oh hell no! <laughs> then you're calling the man a liar. One. I knew that one, and you you revealed the answer, so we can't steal it like he did. Well, we all kind of knew that one anyway. Well, so. well he gave it to me first uh, <laughs> because that's how old he is. That That's how, if you ask it's him, not, he'll tell he's you he's 23. 24. Yeah, he's if 20. you ask him, he'll tell you he's 24. He told me he was 24 years old last week. Him and yeah, I were talking. Well, if you ask me, I'll tell you that, that I'm one year younger than I really am because I forget. Okay, so here we go. Andrew and Batan, how old is Zack Snyder? All right. That's oh. what I'm doing my head. Oh. I think he he's in, I think fifties. He, he's in his fifties, I think, like fifty two. He's in his upper forties or lower fifties. I think fifty two. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's my guess. Man, you guys are brutal. I mean, look at Kevin. He's fifteen. Driver's permit seventeen. For, this is for uh, for uh, Dawson. <laughs> I mean, Dawson's practically a baby, honestly, compared to everyone else here. Yeah. Okay, so how old is he? Come on. Okay, I'm going to okay. 52. That's what I'm going with. Unless you wanted to go with something else, Andrew. Which you're welcome. Well, uh, I, can, I guess I'll try 52. Yeah, let's go with it. <laughs> Enosh, Geeks, mm -hmm. how old is Zack Snyder? You know Geeks? See, you don't get to be the lord of the Snyder cult. With not knowing this stuff, like I, I, I'm actually like really happy because like it's actually ones that I know. This is crazy. <laughs> this is crazy. This All is right, insane. how old is he? He is 54 years old. 54 years old. Final answer. Yep, that's my final. Hmm. I was gonna say unless you try to change it on me, tell me that he's 53. <laughs> <laughs> he just turned 55. Actually, no. He just last old. night. Whoa. Last night he turned 53. Okay. 55. So now Enosh is is in the in the driver's seat here. I oh. want to say, uh, how many points do you have, Enosh? I actually three. lost count. That's yeah, three. three. I thought we won. won. So won. No, well, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Even though you've scored the winning point at three, mm -hmm. and team, they only have one, Team Sickness has a chance to at least make it three two. Because okay. that's how They're nice the guy I am. They're still going to lose. <laughs> oh, okay. I don't know if it really matters, but sure, why not? Okay, guys. Okay, guys, here we go. How old is Ben Affleck? Oh, I know that one. 48. Oh, hey, now. 48. Definitely 48. <laughs> 48 the is the answer. 48. Good one. Good one. How well, good hell? guys. Thank you so much for playing. This was a lot of fun. Good thank job, so guys. Much. Good ones. Good picks too. Yeah. On, on, good picks yeah. on, the, uh, on the on the people. Uh, and, and, uh, and, and and you know what? You know what? We're gonna we're gonna solve this thing with uh, yeah. with Dawson because because uh, we we got to know if Dawson's really twenty three or twenty four. Here, here, let's find out right now. Hold on. Uh, I'm gonna hit him up right now. I know he's awake. He's laying in bed right now. That sounds. Well, you have his phone number. No, well, I, I do. I'm not going to call him. Wake up his wife. How old are wake you? Wake up his wife and be like, he's the sweet one. He's the sweet one. <laughs> he's the sweet one. Well, so I actually told Dawson he should be able to do that all he wants. He just needs to get some chloroform and then do it. The That's sweet horrible. <laughs> okay, here we go. Here we go. Okay, you guys. Quiet. Here we go. I'm, I'm going to make the call right now. <laughs> oh. Welcome to Nicotina's You Make the Call. On his late night program, okay. Enosh guessed that, that Dawson was 24 years old. Did you guys hear that? He was actually told that Dawson that was ring? 23 years old. No. No. Hold on. Wait until he talks. Now, he you make the call. Oh, there, there we go. Yeah, can hear that. Okay, hold on quiet. Shh. Thanks, Joker. Thanks, Kevin. 
Dr. Faye! Fire. He's not answering. It's 1 30 in the morning over there. Yeah. Yes, it is. Hey, you want to place a bet on this, Enosh? I bet your last year winning point. Can't hear it. He did Wait, not answer. I have an oh. idea. I have an idea. I found him on Facebook one time. We can do a little Facebook stuff. <laughs> oh well, look, we all have connections to him. No, I mean, uh, hey, I got him on. I, I got him on Facebook. Facebook. I got him on Facebook. Hey. But I, I, I don't want you to. Make it too. Well, hold on a second. Hold on a second. We'll 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 find Dawson. Hold on. Which is all right, Reynolds. <laughs> I know I showed his face. <laughs> And no, of, something would not mean his wife. Joker, that's horrible of you. Nothing says here. Uh, let's phobic. Uh, hey, uh, I, don't know know right age, I don't know if his age is on you here. You see the free guy thing? He his age on here. Okay, this is what I'll do. When we find out the answer to this, I'll tweet it out tomorrow morning because he's not going to wake up. He, he, he's out. He's out for the count. Oh, wait. Oh, no, that's a notification. Never mind. <laughs> I saw a red dot. I was like, oh, my God, he responded. But it, no, it, it didn't. he hasn't even seen it yet. He's ready in bed. So. You know what? Let's go to the next best source. So hold on. Let me find Ryan. Here he is. Yeah. How old is Dawson? And make sure you're emphasizing how old he is, not how old he almost is. Uh -huh. Ryan's going to be like, why do you care? <laughs> well, I can solve this because we just had this conversation last week, him and I. Hold on a second. All right, so I guess got to go back to my conversation with him, and because I saw the video, he said that he was twenty three in his happy chat today. Yeah, he said he's like he was like I'm practically twenty four. He said practically twenty four, but he is twenty three. Mm, yeah, I'm just. Uh... This is a very suspenseful moment right now as we try to figure out Dawson Weidrich's age. Yeah, because him and I. We because him and I were talking about this uh, just uh, yeah, just last week. Because when he was getting ready, well, two weeks ago, when he was making all my um, uh, my pictures and stuff and doing all my stuff. So, and I asked him, I all asked your him stories. then, uh, yeah, well, because I was telling him, you know, because I'm really impressed with Dawson. Dawson's a good guy. I mean, I know He's we joke, and, guy. I know we joke and we laugh and stuff about that, but you know, seriously, I'm serious. Every time I, I think that the guy has like, uh, you know superseded my expectations the guy just like does one other thing i, I actually got my um nerdy in many ways hat today oh, uh, nice yeah, where is I, it I, I, well i know i mean i didn't get it i, I purchased it <laughs> but I you're not wearing it what i know i know where's the stinking Dawson oh yeah yeah here we go phone, he's here we go uh okay you know what he is 23 he turns 24 in january oh uh, he's close to 24 he's not practically 20 hey, bro. What? Oh my God! <laughs> so yep. I was right about that, and that technically came up first. So from a you still lost. <laughs> it wasn't your question, though. Was it wasn't. It? Your, no, it wasn't. It was Enoch's question, and then I moved on because it got it, it got controversial. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because it was my question, then you took it away, and I had to answer another one. So. <gasps> It was like That's good no robot usses came and said that Dawson was 23 <laughs> years old, and the bad robot usses were like, No, man, he's really 24, dude. And then Rufus came down, and I don't even know what happened after that. Rufus. Man. It was like Rufus, and Rufus was like, Party on, dudes. And then we all just kind of went through time where Dawson really was 24. So in some way, Dawson is 24. <laughs> okay, and guys, because we talked so much in about the January. <laughs> in January. That's kind of a ways in, away. In, <laughs> but you just brought up Bill and Ted in January. He's 24. So if we went in the future to future Dawson and we saw future Dawson, he'd be 24 then, and I'd be writing at four points. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good impression, dude. <laughs> but guys, we talked about the MCU a lot, and I, I know I know some of the viewers aren't huge MCU fans. Okay, but we do have to we have to diversify, and you know. But because of that, I'm gonna make it up to you. Instead, this is what we're gonna do. Ooh. We are going to watch the official trailer, <laughs> the, the Toby trilogy, right now. Yeah, the Toby trilogy. Uh, we're gonna watch the official trailer of a film you that guys. we that we will not be seeing next year. 
Oh, 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 From your secret friend. Underneath the bridge. Who? Told us sprung a leak. And the animals at oh. Having a clue. Bobby, come my pet. Let's play a game. Just me and you. Any of this mean anything to you? Yes, look at You're becoming quite a celebrity. Why is he writing to you? If you are justice, What is the price for your blind eye? The hell are you supposed to be? I'm vengeance. Oh, that got me so pumped. I can't wait for that. You're a part of this, too. How am I part of this? You'll see. Oh, curse you, WB. I know, I know. Well, curse you, COVID-19, really. That's and guys, it. I just posted the link in the chat. That's for the Nicotina Show official Teespring link where you can buy apparel, even coffee mugs nice. and masks that Ooh, has the cool. logo of the show. So, guys, feel free to do that. I really appreciate it. it, it all of it goes towards the show and, and, and just to get more content out there and help me get better guests. I'm not going to pay them. Well, maybe I, I will if they're big enough. It's going to help have you to. have. A, it's going to help you have a place to be able to pay your bills and like have a place where you can have a show. Exactly. And... Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. I love, I love it. Like you know, you're you're a good guy, man. Like I always I always feel weird about like saying that stuff too because like you you feel like you're I don't know. It's like you're doing a show man you know what i mean yeah. and like and like people always ask ask about that stuff and so yeah guys so, buy it so buy some nicotina stuff yeah buy some nicotina stuff buy some nicotina stuff, stuff. Buy some be a cause buy, buy a cause shirt. is always great a cause is always great but you know what nicotina is the cause he deserves all this he's brought yeah. a lot of these people together he's done a lot of good stuff go support nicotina because he and, just and, deserves it um, and guys if if you guys buy the apparel, if you guys become a Patreon, because you guys, I have a Patreon now. So if you guys do any of those yeah. things, it convinces my wife that this is such a good investment <laughs> of time Legit. that I don't have to convince her for me to go out here and do this, do these streams, even though I love doing them. And this is the funnest day, best part of my day is hang out with you guys and, and do these shows. So there's the, there's the link. I'm like I said, I also have a Patreon as well that you guys can join. Um, and I'm adding more stuff to each tier every day. Um, so it's gonna be a lot of fun. Guys, thank you so much for being on here. Andrew, Bat Dan, Enosh, Geeks, uh Rashnan, who was here earlier, and also Gavin Cooley as well. Oh um... and McLovin, <laughs> just talk about Godzilla. <laughs> <laughs> Godzilla. And then everyone in the chat as well. Kubi Malik, McLovin, Joker, Anthony Draven, uh, Rasha, Geeks Cosmics, even though you're on the show now, Dr. Fate. And of course, Dr. Fate is the most special guest, even though uh, Andrew was the special guest of the day. He takes the cake because unlike... Oh, here we go. He already fell asleep. <laughs> unlike... Oh, 
Oh, he's done. Finally. Yeah. Because Dr. Fate is my official Patreon. His name is Juan Villarreal, and he is nice. a VIP Patreon. And he is the very first Patreon of the Nicotina Show. And guys, if you become a Patreon, I will post this picture with the updated names every show. Fantastic. In fact, I'm going to be doing it twice every show, at the beginning and at the end, because I appreciate everything you do and everything uh, that you do to, to help the show. So thank you guys very much. Thank you, Juan, Dr. Fate, because you are badass. And with that, you guys, I will see you next time. I don't know. I, I, I should be back on tomorrow night. I'll be taking Wednesday off because we have to go stay somewhere else overnight. Um, but I'll be back here tomorrow night for, for the midnight run. And uh, at the same time, earlier time at 9 p.m. Pacific, midnight Eastern time. So, see, it's still a midnight show. And like so it. for everyone everyone in the chat, everyone here on the panel, thank you so much for being here. I had a great time. And, yeah, this is the first time I've done the, the age game on the midnight run. So it, it turned out pretty good. Nice. All right, you guys, th thank you so much, and I'll see you again tomorrow night. Uh -huh.